Good evening. In this video, I'll be talking about how to check autocorrelation of residual. Well, this is fourth assumption that uh, in any particular residual of uh, series should not be autocorrelation and it can be checked with the help of three ways. The first one is ACF plot, second one is run test and third one is Darwin Watson test. I will be talking about ACF test and Darwin Watson test. So let's check autocorrelation with the help of ACF plot. For the same command is ACF and uh, our residual value generated from model 1 symbol of dollar and residuals value. Uh, this is the way through which I can generate the series of residual value and simply I mention on ACF plot and then press on enter. Well, read this SCF plot. This is lag like 5, 10, 15, and this is the SCF value. This line is upper level, and this line is lower level. If any value which is greater than this upper level, it means there is autocorrelation. Similarly, if any value which is down than this lower level, it means there is autocorrelation. But in this residual value, even in lag 1 to different lag, the value is in between upper level and lower level. So we can say that there is no autocorrelation in series generated from unemployment rate and inflation rate. This value is of zero lag which is not counted. Now I would like to know the exact testing. It means this is all about the ACF plot, but I'd like to know with the help of suitable tool. So what is that? That is nothing but we can say Darwin Watson test. For the same, the command is first and foremost LM test, like uh, LM test and uh, I just mention here DW test that is Darwin Watson test and uh, our value is uh, in model 1. So command command is for checking the Darwin Watson test LM test is to double is to DW test and model 1 press on enter. Well, this is the outcome generated from Darwin Watson test. So the first and foremost, we have to focus on null hypothesis of Darwin Watson test. Null hypothesis is true autocorrelation is zero or there is no autocorrelation. The p-value is more than 5%. It means our null hypothesis is accepted. Hence, we can say that in this residual, there is no autocorrelation. So, this is all about how to check autocorrelation in time series regression. Thank you very much.